we get ready for this next fight, I might as well tell you, to my right is a two-time United States Olympic wrestler. But I say this without that caveat, wrestling's the best base for modern-day mixed martial arts, and his wrestling is truly as good as it is. As good as it gets, and he lives by the model. He embraces the grind. He gets out there, and he tries to punish you with his effort. He wants to punish you with his intensity, and he wants to overwhelm you with his pressure. That is wrestling. From the wrestling on the mat to wrestling on the feet, it's pressure, pressure, pressure. And this young man is just literally, uh, he personifies the style that so many of us were known for. Yeah, dude, like, pummels all day. His wife's yeah. like, I'm looking for a help. <laughs> Tremendous wrestler. We'll see if the hands have developed a little bit, but certainly a good opportunity on a big stage for him. So here's the former UFC interim welterweight champion, Colby Covington, and whether he's banging on the Brazilians or going at fans on Twitter, there's a lot that encompasses this total package of Colby Covington. It's a hell of a fight. But ultimately, it's about the fight, and the fighting ability is what has carried Colby to such a great start in his UFC career. A former champion, a guy that's been in there with the very best of the division, and when he's been in there, he's been able to get his hand raised. I always go back to the Rafael Dos Santos fight, and I watch Kobe put a pace on him that Dos Santos, who is also known for his cardio, could not keep. It was inspiring to watch, and if you know Kobe before fighting, you know that he trains as hard as anybody in the world to try to come. tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the law, remember the name, Muhammad. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Kobe Chaos Covington. Referee Herb Great Dean fight. will handle the action Ready. in the octagon. Good. Well, for all the places we go in the world, few can hold up to this one. Good evening from Timo Marina here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Open April of 2016. UFC went there for the first time at UFC 200, and they've been bringing big shows seemingly every other month ever since. They call Vegas the fight capital of the world. And if you're talking about a home base for the UFC, you're talking about Marina. Gets the double leg takedown. But at least staying busy on the bottom. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. are what gets you submitted a lot of times. Nice positional control here. He's a big shot, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. Good work from the top here by Muhammad. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Well, nothing in the unified rule says you can't strike from off of your back, and he did well there. 
just over three minutes to go in our first round. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Bilal Muhammad. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now. I know the crowd thinks it's funny when this happens, but if you're the bottom fighter, uh, nothing funny about it. It's not funny. This is not a fun position to be in in fighting. You've got to try and change it immediately because you are carrying someone's weight, whether it's their bottom half weight or the top half. You are carrying their weight, whether you got their armpit in your face or you got their legs over the top of you. It is not comfortable. So you need to be trying to move, make them make a decision, a determination as to what they're trying to accomplish and then you try and come in series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. He's got the single collar tie. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, great, great bubble change there. Covington gets back up again. Nicely done. Big punch from the clinch. Over and over, these guys. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Got it very tight. The guillotine looks like it's locked in. Right now, he's got to be patient. He's got to squeeze, but not too much. He's got to get the guard down and try to find a submission. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. usual suffocating work from the top here by Muhammad. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's gonna lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets all the way down out. But he didn't stop there. He took a strong top position himself. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch is starting to land from the top position. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Bilal Muhammad. Oh, he got to his spot. Constantly a moving target. Oh, oh big combination yeah. of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, fight. he needs to react a little right. quicker. Here we are, early round two. Oh, how about the accuracy of land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt fast. He cannot take another shot like that. Huge shots there. Just out of range with that strike. Looks like the beginning of the end. Great block there. Well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go in the middle. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Bilal Muhammad. Yeah. 
he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Changing the position. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Oh, big shots from the top. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Bilal Muhammad. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Oh, you got to love the ground and pound strikes here. Well, he's on his back, but he's landing. Under two minutes now in round two. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. While well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Covington. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. And very effective with the ground and pound. Covington's back in full mount. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Nice shot lands from the bottom. A series of punches from the top here by Covington. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Good work from the top here by Covington. Seconds winding down in round two. Two rounds in the books. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was. He hurt him pretty badly there in the middle of the round. Got to think he's going to be looking for more of the same here when they get up off the stools. I don't know who it is. I don't know who we're watching fight. But I tell you, as he walks back, he looks like Bambi. When Bambi was born and her legs were shaking, that's exactly how this man looked when he took that right hand. He was hurt bad, John. And the ability to get through that, the ability to still be in this fight shows to his toughness. But if he doesn't change it, he, won't get, he will not get another chance. Bambi. Bambi. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Covington. Oh, nice defense there with the block. Yeah. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. Oh, oh judo toss made it look easy. Muhammad's in half goal. On to the mount. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Well, pretty good look off of the bottom here by Covington. Good, solid strike on the ground. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys who start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Oh, nice. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Covington's now dealing with a cheat cut. Relentless pressure from the top by Bilal Muhammad. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Muhammad's in half guard now. Nice shots landing from the top position. Let's go! Get him off! Get him off! Oh, right into Mount. Now he's got a good body position, yup. That was a slick transition. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Muhammad. Well, ground and pound 101, and now you start to see some swelling appear. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you'll see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Just over two minutes to go. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep the half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Oh, pinpoint ground strike by him there, and that one opened up a cut. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Muhammad. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. to go and busy as he looks to improve position here all right we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here dc pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Bilal muhammad Strikes are starting to add up. Covington's looking to pass in the half guard here, but he's denied. Final seconds of round three. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, 
And let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, there was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent. But this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing with this cut on the cheek. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Drives the shin into the rib. Great body kick. Oh, good block there. Oh, nice hook. And potentially a critical takedown here. Covington's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. He passes the half guard. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Covington. Gotta be careful here. Covington's eye is closing up. All right, right into side control. Our body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body. Oh, somebody got out. These guys are back and forth in the submission defense wins this transition. I need you to scramble, scramble. Muhammad's in half court. Not being just defensive, but offensive off the back. Great punch land. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Muhammad. Another ground and pound strike lands. Get the out here. Under three minutes to go in round four. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Oh. Covington's in half guard, working out of the half guard here. Side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for head hunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and it's showing in his opponent's face with all that swelling. Oh, man, he's still targeting that cut, and it is getting worse by the minute. Mohammed's right back to the full mount here. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Back mount now. Oh, man, another strike gets through, and now things are critical. We got a lot of blood, folks. There once again, strong work here by Muhammad. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. Nice job staying offensive there as he lands a shot from the bottom. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. All right, so it looks as though now the referee will step in to look at the swelling on that eye as he calls for the doctor. Maybe he wanted to step in earlier, but now he had no choice. He had no choice. The swelling is so bad, he can't see. 
he's flailing at his opponent right now. Looks as though the doctor is going to allow the fight to continue for the athlete. May want to raise the guard a little bit. He's got to raise the guard. He's got to take some chances because he's very Great limited fight. in what he Great. can do right now with that much Good. swelling. All right, so the ref will get the action back underway after that brief health and safety check. And to no one's surprise, the fans support the decision for the action to continue. Absolutely. I mean, this official decided you can go. Even though at times the fighter may question whether or not he can do it, we have very smart ringside officials that make a determination. The determination is get your butt out of there and fight. Let's see what happens. And we have a very smart fighter who is going to have to start protecting that injury to prevent it from getting any worse. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Covington's cut on his cheek is nasty. Leaky, leaky. That thing is leaking bad now. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. Oh, the round is over, and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much, and given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, replay truck has been kept busy tonight as we get you some clips from that previous round, and maybe we can even isolate the strike that opened his cheek up. I mean, a cut on your cheek while it's in a better spot, it is still so hard to deal with. Every time that gets hit, it hurts so bad. He's going to have to move his head here. You ready to fight? Ready. Fifth Go. and final round. And do a work with the jab. Takedown defense. The fighters separate. Nice punch there by Cummings. Oh man, that cut looks terrible. He's bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped the fight with that cut at some point. Oh, left hook. Back and forth we go. Section. Gotta think his opponent's gonna feel that one in the morning. And he's gonna continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take his muscles. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. That guillotine, that guillotine is tight. That guillotine choke is getting very close. He's gotta lock the guard though if he wants to finish. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Ground and pound strike. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career going down the line. Now he's going full mount. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Muhammad's in half guard. Done. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than the half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. 
His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. All right, so we go down the stretch. He is clearly losing this fight, and at this point, you just abandon position and go for submission. Yeah, you got to just go. You got to start throwing things at the wall and hope something sticks. Covington's eye is essentially swollen shut at this point in time. I'm not so sure they're not going to step in, Daniel, and stop this fight right now. Hard to be a one-eyed fighter in a mixed martial arts set. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, what a punch. Another big takedown. Oh, good defense. Yes. Trying to recover full guard there. Under a minute now to go in this one. He passes the half. Beautiful reversal on the ground. Covington's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Nice. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Covington. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Oh, right into Mao. Final seconds of the fight. Covington's back in four months. Finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. The ladies official decision is now in and resides rounds, with Bruce We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Declared the winner by unanimous decision. Bilal, remember the name, Muhammad. All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagement.